Hello friends, I found this mess kit from a thrift store and uh, I really love this. My husband told me, can you make me a craft out of this one? So I said, sure. So now I am going to make this as my craft for today. I just painted it with a burnt umber by Apple Barrel. I will sprinkle the handle with the ground cinnamon and so with the sides as well. Well, actually I still didn't know what I'm going to do. I was just thinking of putting something like a birdhouse there and then I ended up putting a napkin. So that's the reason why that I painted also the middle part. So I love how this turned out. It's really very amazing. And then um, I just, of course, press the ground cinnamon so it will really stick to the the kit, the pan. And uh, uh, using this foam brush. And then once done, this is the part now that I remember, I will just put um, this piece of napkin with the birdhouse design here. And so that's the reason why that after I tore the sides of this because uh, I want this to look distressed. I don't want to cut this uh, using a pair of scissors. I just cut it, uh, just tear the sides. Then I painted it with the Waverly Ivory. Actually, after I applied the um, Elmer's glue. I'm showing you the Elmer's glue. I'm sorry that and also the Waverly Ivory. I really apologize that I did not uh, take any video of it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I forgot to take a video of it. So I just lightly uh, brush it. Uh, I applied the Elmer's glue in just one direction, very thinly. And then after that, though, while the Elmer's glue is still wet, I just, you know, uh, paint it with the Waverly Ivory and I use a cheap brush in doing that. You can refer to some of my lives and so with my high um high speed videos there uh how i crackle paint and so now i just uh put the glue uh, i'm sorry i just put the napkin there with the birdhouse designs and after that i just dried it and once dry i just applied the mud patch very thinly to just seal the napkin and now on the sides, I am going to just uh, paint it again with the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. Just lightly brush it, but it still shows, of course, the ground cinnamon that I sprinkled earlier. So it really looks very, very rustic. So everything here is optional. You can choose any paint you like. This is just what how I'm very comfortable making this because I really love vintage and rustic. And then after this, I just, you know, um, applied again the mud budge and just sprinkled a little of the ground cinnamon. I'm using a fan brush because I feel, like I said, every time I do this process with the mud budge, I feel comfortable using fan brush because it's really very gentle. And then I, again, I sprinkled the ground cinnamon there on the sides. And it really looks very, very rustic. So like I said, everybody, everything here is optional. You can choose any napkin, you can choose any paint you like. And now it's time for me to just glue this Spanish moss. This is from Michael's and I have a piece of twig here. I'm going to glue this onto there and um, cover, of course, the sides with the Spanish moss. And to elevate, to raise a little bit of the, the twig, I am going to put the wood cube from Dollar Tree just under it and then I, I i glued it and then covered it with the spanish moss as well so you can see that on the video so it really looks so pretty and i have this bird i got this from michael's i will just uh, put it there i put the hole there so i can just stick it onto the uh, twig and it's gonna be very sturdy and now i will just glue this spanish moss and I will just put three pieces of these eggs, uh, artificial eggs. They're also from Michael's. And now I'm putting some flowers. These are from Timu. 
you know just to accentuate this craft and it really looks so pretty i really love this craft everybody and i'm sure of course that uh when i show this to my husband i'm sure that he's gonna love this because this is his request you know the mess kit my first time to have seen a mess kit you know <laughs> so now i am going to make the bow i will match all the cloth to this craft and these are already coffee stained cloth these are from home deep uh, i'm sorry from hobby lobby and some of it from uh, walmart and if you like to know the grunge mix please drop me a message on the comment section so i will send you the grunge mix and um i will only stop to make some loops of this uh, bow not until i'm going to be happy with how it turned out and I'll be putting just a little of the Excel Shore. I bought this from Michael's. They're very, very tiny Excel Shore. And I will just sandwich it in between uh, cloth. And it really looks so awesome. I just love it. It really looks so natural. So it really matched with my craft, which is the birdhouse. Now I will make it look fluffy trim it if possible to make it look nice and then i uh, tied it again with i'm gonna put again another twine here because i will uh, tie it onto the handle of this uh, mess kit so that's what i'm doing there right now i glued it first and then i'm going to tie it on the back just like that and then I will have these two pieces of buttons, uh, you know, just for an accent to make it different. And then I have this piece of wood. I have my husband cut this, just a small piece. And then I drill the, uh, the middle part of it, two, two holes on the middle part. And then I'll paint this with the Burns Umbra by Apple Barrel. And then I'm going to wipe the excess paint. And once done, I have this very thin rustic wire. I bought these from Etsy. Then I will just uh, attach this wood using this wire. And I glued it first to be more sturdy. And then uh, I have to pull this wire so hard that I'm going to tie this very, very tight. And then now I'm going to just... Uh, use this piece of stiff felt cloth and cover the rustic wire that I cut on the on the back so that it's not gonna harm anybody because it's kind of sharp so I have this piece of blood cloth I will just glue it there and I'm going to cut a piece of this uh, scrapbook paper and I will just spell out the word home tweet home And once done, I will just make this look distressed by using the dark antique wax by Bear that I bought from Home Depot. And I'm using eyeshadow brush. So now I'm going to glue it there. So that's the finished craft, everybody. I will just make this look distressed. If you like this craft and you want to see more of my craft ideas, please go to my main page, please click like, and please give me a follow. So you will be notified whenever I go live and you'll be updated of my future craft. So this is a very pretty craft, everybody. This is a mess kit. You can see the, the bow, you can see the birdhouse and the bird and the eggs. And overall, it really looks rustic, but on the inside, it, it's just distressed and with a crackle. You can see the see through the crackle. So that's the finished craft, everybody. I hope you like watching this craft video. Thank you all so much. Until next time.